and back with another one of my guide wings when everything lines up a little bit too perfect. Yeah, nobody, nobody, nobody could tell me it was just a regular coincidence. So as I'm brushing my teeth, this sign is right in front of me as my reminder every day from God that I am with you always from Matthew 28, 20. So today I'm brushing my teeth. I'm playing Dr. Stan Stanley in the background. So right there, I'm there with my head down, brushing my teeth. Listen to what Dr. Charles Stanley says. The second thing, how we should respond is this. Immediately, we should recall what God says. I am with you always. So I know he's with me. I know he's present. I know he's there. I'm in his presence. You're in his presence. No matter what's happening, you're in the presence of God. So he knows what's happening. And we need to recall that and remember that. It was our first thought and purpose for your life. Do you guys understand what happened? I'm brushing my teeth with this sign right before me. And Dr. Charles Stanley's in the background saying that message, that we must remember this. I am with you always. Everything just lined up a little bit too perfectly, guys. And nobody can say that was a regular coincidence. That's God revealing another glimmer of his invisible presence with us all, okay? That we have to walk in that presence, that he is with us always. Do you understand that? I am with you always. Walk in that presence. Even today I'm by my God tree and a lady walks by playing some music and it's a song that's special to me and God and it says, stay with me. That's where I want us all staying with God in this presence. Yesterday I was telling our customer how I'm learning to love other people through God's love. Like when my human strength, love fails. Like I tap into God's strength and the way that God loves us. God loves us unconditionally. So no matter what we do, God loves us. So that's the way he wants us to love others, but the human side of us will fail. So I gotta tap into that God love when I'm dealing with other people. And so he just said to me, he said, not just in, 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 in the love, Nikki, in everything you do, I want you tapping into this God strength, tapping into God for everything. No, and he's with us always in the tough moments, in the difficult moments, whatever moment you find yourself, just be reminded of this. God is with us always. Every moment, every second, he's with us. And he loves us unconditionally. No matter how badly we mess up, he still loves us. And that's the love he wants us to show other people. Just walking in his love and his strength, his wisdom, his favor, his grace, his approval, his acceptance. Yesterday I had an important conversation with my daughter, Julie. How we get it wrong looking to other people for love and how God always says to me, let him be the one to love. He even has a song for it from Mario, let me love you. And as I turned on the radio yesterday at my office, a radio station of all songs that they were there playing, let me love you by Mario. I sent the, the little voice note to my daughter, Julie, that we have to let God be the one to love us. And then once we take the love from God, then we're just shared with the world, guys. Go on the extra mile in love and kindness and support and gentleness and faithfulness and doing it all for the glory of God, guys. I promise you, promise you, promise you that this is the best life for God, even when we go through tough times. We can know he's there. Through the good times, we can just praise him, say, God, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's on everything, guys. Let me tell you how he had me crying under the tree today. So right across the street from me, there's a gas station with the word synergy on it. So all day I'm looking at this synergy like a crazy person, just reminded that in my weakest of moments, God is my strength. So I can boast of my weakness because that's when God's power comes through even more for me. So I said, let me do a new thing under the tree. I said, I'm going to just go from page 10 and I'll go in another increment of 10. I'm going to go to page 20. I get to page 20. After looking at that synergy sign all day yesterday, can you believe that was what the post was about on page 20 of our family's website about how God's power 
comes through perfectly in our weaknesses, that we make a beautiful combination together. My weakness and his strength, that we can do all things with him and that how he wants us here, knowing that he will help us with everything, you know, that is he is us and him together doing our lives, guys, in a perfect synergy. So he has had me crying knowing that I'm looking at this sign like a crazy person, God, synergy, 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 me and you, me and you. And then for that post to show up on that page 20, when I say, let me just do something new today to find God. So that was his way of just letting me know that he's involved in every moment. So this is what I want us tapping into God every second, every moment, asking if we could just glorify him, if we could just be these people on his behalf in the world, doing everything, everything for his glory, knowing his presence is always with us.